Most of you work for a company where network security is taken care of for you and you don't even have to worry about it. It's done by the IT department or it's outsourced to a third party IT vendor and quite frankly it just happens at your office and most of it you have no control over whatsoever. But we get a lot of questions from people about, what about my home network? Should I have network security at home? Do I need to be worried about network security at home? And if so, what does that look like? So I'm going to tell you really quickly, you absolutely need to be worried about network security at your house. And a good network security program really has five elements to it. So the first element is a firewall. Now that doesn't mean you have to run off to Best Buy or someplace and, and buy a firewall or order one from Amazon.com. The router or modem that's provided by your internet provider has a firewall built into it. So unless you've logged into that device and changed the default settings and made a bunch of crazy security settings into it, which most of you have not, it's doing exactly what it's supposed to do for you, which is providing a level of firewall protection. The second thing that you need on your network is you need a good antivirus software on every computer on your network. That includes Apple computers, that includes Windows computers. And it, the free software, quite frankly, is worth what you pay for it. So make sure you have a paid version of an antivirus software that updates itself every day. The third piece of network security that you need is what we call spam filtering. And again, this is not something you need to go out and buy separately. It's going to be included with your Gmail, your Yahoo, your AOL, your Comcast, whatever your local provider is that provides your home email for you is going to include that spam filtering. The fourth thing that you need is what we call consistent patching or updating. And this is, again, something you don't have to necessarily go buy, but you have to make sure it's turned on. So on your Windows computers, you want to make sure that Windows Update is turned on and enabled. On your Apple computers, the same way. Go ahead and turn on those automatic updates and just let the devices update when those patches become available. And don't forget your mobile devices. Those iOS devices, make sure you're running that Apple update every time that becomes available. And the fifth thing that you want to worry about is probably going to be new to most of you. It's web content filtering. So what does web content filtering do? It allows you to block certain types of web activity on your home network. So for example, if you don't want people to go to adult themed sites, you can block that by category. You can also block down to the specific site level. OpenDNS by Cisco is a fantastic free service for this for your home. You can just go to OpenDNS.com, sign up for a free account, and it's very intuitive on how to set that up on your home network. I hope this tip is helpful for you, and for more tips, visit us at ImageQuest.com.